What's up guys, my name is Eric and you're watching Savage Garden and this is going to be a quick video. Uh, one of the things I really want to tell you about when you're starting a home garden is be sure that your hobby is not something that's going to really just, I don't know, hit your pockets really hard. And one way to avoid that is to take everything you get the year before and learn how to recycle it. That's the soil. These are the planter cups. I mean, I'm replanting using these same planter cups from last season. I have peppers in here. I uh, also have cantaloupe. So what I'm doing is, well, first off, I'm gonna let you know how to mix up this soil so you can plant your own. Uh, let's just mix up some real quick. All right, guys, so uh, the things you're gonna need to have your own, to start your own potting mix, or at least the kind of potting mix that I like for fruits and vegetables for my outdoor garden is gonna be I always start off with the black cow. That's a cow manure. It's just fertilizer. It's the stuff that's going to really feed your plants. Uh, I use pretty much this dry peat moss. Uh, what it's good for is for when your potty mix starts to take on water, it holds the water so your potty... <laughs> we even got the picture. So what it does is it allows your, your potty mix to keep that moisture that it has in it. Uh, so even the days maybe you forget the 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 water to plant or if you water maybe a little later there's still gonna be moisture in that plant it's gonna be great uh, the last thing is the cheapest potting mix you can find uh, since you're adding all these uh, these things to your potting mix I normally go with whatever is the cheapest or whatever is on sale and uh, I mix these three equal parts and that's pretty much how I do my own potting mix uh, I add other things depending on what I'm growing but this is the basis of how I do my potty mix and I'll show you guys how I mix it up all right that's that's pretty much what your mix is gonna end up looking like uh, <laughs> here's all over the place but this is what your mix is gonna end up looking like as you can see come a little closer uh, right now is really dry there's a little moisture in here from the black cow uh, but for the most part the peat moss really takes all that out and makes this a very dry mix so when you decide you're going to plant it you got to do a little pre moisten uh just to get this potting mix wet but uh this mix this container mix is going to do a good job of holding on to moisture and really allowing that that plant to grow as well as possible and just like that you have soil that's going to be good for most of your product uh most things you're going to grow except for exotics and citrus fruit citrus they need some real crazy stuff uh, and maybe later in the future I'll show you how to do that. But if you're curious and you really got to get some in the ground now, just buy the packages of uh, citrus uh, soil and normally that's good enough. But what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you guys, see, these are about 15 day old cantaloupe. You can see because the true leaves are finally starting to come through. I'm going to be transplanting them in another bucket that I have from earlier this year. If you remember in a few videos back, uh, maybe you can check my shorts out. I planted some knockout roses. These are these are about two and a half, maybe three gallon buckets. And I'm just going to plant these cantaloupe in three gallon buckets. Now normally I'll tell you use three to five gallons for cantaloupe. Uh, these are another plant that I have got so close to getting them done. and whatever happens it just kind of never worked out for me but this year i am very hopeful that i will have the biggest juiciest cantaloupes in the area and if not there's always next year so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to start breaking this down i'll show you another video uh link up here so you can see how you actually can break this down without destroying these plants i normally plant more than one plant or i normally put more than one seed in each one of my planters like as you can see all these have about at least two plants in them and these are pepper plants they're about uh nine days old so you know they don't have their true leaves yet but they're they're well past germination and uh normally i'll cut one or the other but since i am not gonna have uh what was the other plant we were looking for this year broccoli since i'm not gonna have broccoli this season because i think i missed my window uh i'm just gonna do a lot more pepper the only one i don't have germinating is for some reason this one as you can see i do i reuse all my little planters because maybe after three years they're no good but you know you can definitely keep these for more than one season and uh yeah 
look at it works out nice and I look like I'm a professional person from Home Depot but I'm gonna get these in the buckets and I'll show you the last and final steps on how to do it it's starting to rain here in Texas which we need but also we don't need the flooding I'm gonna put this in and then I'll cut back to show you the final product after I load these buckets our freshly added soil is hydrated we didn't have a lot of time to make it drain so keep one of these uh, pans which I have this this is actually left over from peace trees that I have in the garden right now uh, I don't need the pan because I have drainage holes uh, these are more for indoor plants so you know I can get to use this now and it doesn't really slow me down from my next step what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make a hole for how big I want this plant to go in now I'm gonna separate all these plants like I did in the last video uh, by just hydrate needs and compress them and place them but fun facts about cantaloupe one of the biggest thing you need to know when you're handling cantaloupe is they are heavy eaters that means that they are going to take a lot of soil in and a, a lot of nutrients from your soil so that means you can go ahead and you can give it I don't know like those teas that they make where it's all compost or you can add in other nutrients but whatever you got to do you got to keep on making sure that your your cantaloupe is getting a lot of nutrients what I tend to do is I tend to add like minerals at the top of the soil and then that way every time I water it in it breaks down it breaks down slowly over the lifespan of this plant until maturity uh, also I like to make sure that I keep my nutrients well not my nutrients but my my soil moist because any kind of fruit that is mostly water that being watermelon cantaloupe or you know any of those things like that they tend to need to make sure that the the soil stays fairly wet so one way of assuring that is by mulching the top which I'm gonna do after I plant this in so as you can see these plants are only maybe three to four days different but cantaloupe grows extraordinarily fast and somehow my daughters have got to the other side of the the plant thing uh, of the barrier uh, because they are big toddlers and they are tough so uh, yeah we're gonna cut this video a little bit shorter than usual I'm gonna separate these nice I probably need to add a little bit more water uh, but for the most part you can see that in here I grew more than one plant you can even see the seeds still. I mean, that's how fast this has worked. Is that you can still see the the seed right there under my finger. And so yeah, these things grow extraordinarily fast and become really big plants. So if you're trying to use anything smaller than a you know three or five gallon bucket or container, you're probably not going to have much luck. As for how much you should harvest or look towards harvesting is I wouldn't go more than maybe three, four cantaloupe per plant because I think the quality is going to really shift and become a lot worse uh, the more you grow. But cool thing about cantaloupes as well is unlike, unlike, uh, sorry, multitasking is not my, my best thing, but unlike pumpkins, pumpkins tend to grow roots along the sides of the stem and they kind of need those every few feet that they grow you know they kind of dig to the ground so they get more nutrients so growing them in containers is well I guess almost impossible you don't have the problem when it comes to things like cantaloupe because they're closer to cucumbers I just had a scare I think my daughter or not my daughter but my dog just almost knocked over my tripod but uh, we're getting this most down as you can see it's a little lower than a rim because this gives me plenty of space to water in one more time and for me to also add that mulch to protect it so I'm not having to water as much and my plants don't have a high chance of drying out but guys if you like this video take the time right now to like subscribe and uh, check me out on other platforms I also have a channel called 31 accountant where I unbox and review products I'm Eric you're watching Savage Garden we out.